Hi friends, this is time and distance video part 10 and here we are going to solve some of the questions based on data sufficiency which will be very important at part of your exam. So data sufficiency question how to deal with case. So in data sufficiency question how many times did x take to reach the destination ok. So this is the question means how much time x is taking to reach the destination. Now you have to tell if statement 1 I mean from the statement if you can get the answer from the statement one if you can get the answer or you have to tell if from a statement you can a statement two you can get the answer or from a statement one and a statement two together you need to answer the question or from a statement one and a statement two also you cannot get the answer so like this options will be there in data sufficiency question so you, you have to tell if the data if the statement given is sufficient to answer the question or not right so let's try to solve this question so statement one it is telling the ratio between the speed of x and y is 3 is to 4 so x and y the speed ratio right so speed ratio is 3 is to 4 so from here we cannot conclude anything right they are asking how much time it is taking to reach the destination so this is given in terms of a speed so what we can do from here is we can find the ratio in terms of time right so d is equal to st distance is equal to speed into time when the distance is fixed then your speed will become inversely proportional to time so if a speed ratio is 3 is to 4 then the time ratio will become 4 is to 3 it will become inverse please watch the video previous video on time and distance to understand the question based on a ratio so if the speed ratio is 3 is to 4 then the time ratio will become 4 is to 3 right okay so time of x and time of y will become 4 is to 3 so time of x will become 4x and time of y will become 3x anywhere if time or a speed is given in the ratio and if you want to write in terms of value then what you can do you can write 4x and 3x so from a statement one i cannot say how much time x will take to reach the destination so suppose your first option is a statement alone is sufficient to answer the question no a statement one alone is not sufficient now a statement two what it is telling y takes 36 minutes so if y is taking 36 minutes we cannot tell how much time x will take right so a statement two alone is also not sufficient to answer the question what we will do now now we will combine a statement one and a statement two so you see time of x and time of y the ratio is given 4 is to 3 right now y this is x and this is y so y is taking how much time 36 minute this is nothing but 12 times so x will take how much the x will also take 12 times so x will take 48 minute so x will be taking 48 minute to reach the destination so my answer will be a statement one and a statement two both are sufficient to answer the question right question number two two cars pass each other in opposite direction so suppose this is car one and this is car two and they are moving in the opposite direction how long would they take to be five kilometer apart so how much time they will take right okay so suppose the speed of car 1 is s1 and the speed of car is s2 so when they are moving in opposite direction then the relative velocity the relative speed will become s1 plus s2 when they are moving in the opposite direction and when they are moving in the same direction when they are moving in the same direction then the relative speed will become s1 minus s2 a speed will be subtracted right see you might have observed when two trains are moving in the same direction then you will feel the other train is moving not very fast but when one train is moving in this direction other train is moving in opposite direction then you feel the other train is moving very fast so when there will be opposite direction that time your uh, speed will get added and when there will be same direction that time your speed will get subtracted you remember like that same means subtract right same means subtract and in a case of opposite you have to add the speed right okay now a statement one if you'll take a statement one let's see what can be concluded from here the sum of their speed is 135 kilometer so s1 plus s2 the sum of their speed is 135 kilometer and that how much is the distance the distance is 500 kilometer now d is equals to st so t will be d 
divided by s s is nothing but 135 km so from here we can find out the time see no need to divide here because they are just asking a statement 1 is sufficient or not a statement 2 is sufficient or not a statement 1 plus 2 is sufficient or not a statement 1 plus 2 is sufficient or not right so a statement 1 we can find out the time so a statement 1 is sufficient right now you see a statement 2 the difference of their speed is 25 kilometer right so difference of a speed is given 25 kilometer but the cars are moving in what opposite direction right one car is going in this direction and one car is going in this direction so when cars are moving in opposite direction then we need the sum of a speed not the difference of a speed so if difference of a speed is given then we cannot find the time here the time cannot be found here because i need the sum of the speed so statement 2 alone is not sufficient right and now no need to check this because statement 2 alone is not sufficient and statement 1 is sufficient so our answer will be statement 1 alone is sufficient to sufficient to answer the question right so thanks for watching the video